Hello everyone, before I do get any more complaints, this is the German um, variation of a reading that I just uploaded. As you know, I do upload both in German and English. German is my native language. I live in Germany. Most of my clients are from Germany, but I try to do it 50-50, okay? I try my best. I do what I can. Please have in mind that this work that I'm doing is completely unpaid, okay? I'm not being paid for it. <laughs> um, so I do have another job. Actually, I do have more than just one other job, okay? So this is also a time thing. I don't have unlimited time available, but I try to upload at least once per week, okay? At least once per week, both in German and English, just so you know, okay? If you are not sure whether you are being informed currently, like whenever I do upload a reading, make sure that you have subscribed to my reading with the bell, Okay, this is the difference. You can subscribe to my reading. Yes, good job. I really appreciate. I celebrate you. But if you have not hit the wiggly bell, you will not get a modif uh, notification whenever I upload a reading. Okay, this is it. So we are in this together. Do what you can. I do what I can. And then you know, we try to make the best out of it. Okay, so today's reading is a mixture. It is a little bit about the current energies. I don't know how deep you are in this spiritual world, but you may have noticed that something special is going on right now. Yesterday, Pluto entered Aquarius. Wow, this may sound mundane, like, okay, so what does it have to do with me? But it probably has something to do with your life. Maybe it has to do with everyone, like globally, big changes. Why? Let me explain. This will probably take five minutes. If you want to skip it, if you're not interested at all, you can feel free to move on to the uh, description box down there where I offer um, timestamps. Okay, this is how it goes. If you are interested in the current energies, this is an energy update. I was talking about Pluto entering Aquarius and um, I will explain you what that means. Okay, number one, Pluto is known to be, it is a very slow moving energy. This conjunction happens every 200 years only. This is because Pluto is moving so slowly. Last time it happened was 1977, uh, <laughs> excuse me, here we go. Okay, I wrote down some, some notes, so I, to, just to be sure that I, you know, like explain everything to you. So this was the last time when it happened and um, as Pluto is moving so slowly, he will stay in this current energy, Aquarius energy, for the next 20 years. Last time this happened, as you saw, 1777 to 1797, what did happen through this, in these years, like these 20 years? The French Revolution, the Industrial Revolution, also the foundation of the United States of America, hashtag Independence Day. So this is what it is. It's all about transformation. It's about getting free from something. It's about uh, empowering yourselves. Like the French Revolution, if you're not familiar, what was it? It was like when the simple man, you know, the people who worked um, as villagers, you know, on the fields and stuff, uh, they tried to get rid of the monastery. And I'm very um, sorry for my bad English. I hope you can still follow me. Um, so, so far, like there was one big king, you know, and he ruled the whole world. He had a kingdom. And once he woke up and he felt like, hey, I want to have a war with this other king over there, like 200 of like the simple men, they had to go into the war and they had to get themselves killed, you know, without having been, you know, like part of the whole um, controversy probably. 
right? It was something between king and king, but they sent in the simple people, you know, to fight their fights. And that was not fair, right? So Aquarius is all about justice, is all about um, freedom, is all about independence. And this is what this conjunction between Pluto and Aquarius is all about. It's about getting free, it's about getting rid of old structures that no longer suits nobody. It's about transformation big time. They also say that Pluto is the planet of the midwives, the um, surgeons, and also, um, and I have to Google this, I forgot to translate this special word, but I really want to use it because it makes so much sense. Let me just give me one half of a minute. The undertaker. Yeah, you know, like the people when someone dies and then you have to call this office and they take care of everything, the funeral and, you know, like the whole, um, yeah, the dead man, you know, the dead person. Um, yeah, undertakers. So Pluto is all about death and rebirth and... Yeah, the planet of the midwives and the surgeons and the psychologists and the undertakers. And that means something, right? You can feel it right away. Even if you have no clue about astrology or planets or energies and the universe and stuff and all these, you know, like things that are happening in between. But still, just alone knowing, you know, like these five, six facts right? What is Pluto all about? What is Aquarius all about? How often does it happen? It's happening not so often, every 200 years. So the last um, time it happened, we haven't been born. So this is the first time for all of us all around the world. And we don't even know what's about to happen in this conjunction. So just open yourself up Know that a lot of big transitions can happen now, a lot of big changes. And yeah, let's just hope for the best for all of us, I would say. So having said this, I want to move on to the reading. There will be three parts to choose from. Number one, number two, and number whoop, three. The timestamp is down in the description box, as I said. Okay, so here we go. Pile number one. If you have chosen the very first pile, what do we need to know for you? What is this energy bringing in for you? What does spirit has in store for you in regards of this big conjunction and this big change that's yeah, coming in for all of us? Not just for you, but for all of us. So first of all, your card is this one. And she is all about... Um, friendship and the power of the heart you know this card is all about being intuitive being gentle with ourselves and everyone else it's all about uh, having a lot of compassion for the world and everything that happens all around the world I mean we all know there's a lot going on uh, not just today but like for four years there's a lot going on right and um, it is also about forgiveness. And this is what you will be dealing with. Like the next, I don't want to say 20 years, but who knows, right? Right now you will be dealing with forgiveness. You will be dealing with compassion. You will be dealing with a gentle heart, right? Maybe you will find yourself being way more softer than you've ever been before. Maybe more emotional, more understanding, right? I mean, compassion is about empathy, right? It's about understanding. And then we get the how teachable are you card. And I feel that you will be way more open to understand and to learn. There, I don't see, maybe there was a time when you've been fighting against what's going on. You felt maybe like something is not fair and people are treating you in the wrong way. And maybe they did. Who knows? Maybe they really did. Maybe some people treat you in a bad way. And maybe things happen to you that haven't been fair. 
but I feel you will now understand the learning behind it. You will now understand more and more that life is never happening against you. It's happening for you. You know, it's not happening to you. Everything is happening for you. You will become way more teachable, as the card is saying. Whatever that means to you, okay? Tune into yourself. What does that mean to you? Do you want to learn something new? Do you want to get yourself a mentor, a teacher? Would you like to take a training? Would you like to, I don't know, challenge your own spiritual skills in terms of being more clairvoyant or whatever? I mean... You, being intuitive can mean a lot of things, right? Being teachable can mean a lot of things. Some of you want to go to university. Who knows? Uh, maybe you want to apply for a new job. Maybe you want to teach others something. Maybe you are a teacher already, but still, I mean, there is still something um, that you can learn and you can improve, right? Even though you are a teacher already. Who knows? What else do we need to know here for you, card number one? Nine, uh, eight of coins. Yeah, again, it's all about, um, you know, like uh, training and refining your skills, working on something big, something huge, you know? Um, what else? The page of cups and the chariot. I love it. I love the chariot. It came out today in quite a few readings that I did, not just the, um, the general readings for YouTube. Um, this is just the second reading that I'm doing today, but I did some personal readings. So, and I saw the chariot coming out there as well. So it's all about moving forward, right? This is what the chariot is all about. It's a car. It's a vehicle. It's about movement right you will move forward you will thrive you will develop you will progress um and i love that this is all about acceleration it's all about thriving and yes of course learning it's choosing maybe a new direction who knows for some of us it's about a new direction taking a new road right um and I see offerings. Page of Cups is about offerings. People, they will offer you something. They will help you. They will also be probably more understanding when it comes to you and your needs, right? The Page of Cups is a very loving energy. It's very juvenile. You will probably deal with a guy who is a bit younger than you are. And he comes in in a quite nice energy. And again, forgiveness. I feel like you will heal out something. And I don't even know whether this is a word in English. It is in German, right? You will heal out something. I'm saying this purposely, even though it's maybe not a proper word or grammatically wrong. But the thing is, like, if you have a wound, you know, let's just say children, when they fall off their bike and they have a wound and it goes very, very deep, I mean, like, really deep, right? Maybe they even have to get some stitches. They have to go to the hospital, get them some stitches, you know, and then like the surface is closed again. That's one thing, right? It happens right away. After the stitches, you know, like the surface, the superficial skin is closed again. But underneath, underneath, there is some more healing needed and taking place. And that takes a while. It can be days, weeks. Maybe you will feel the scar and the wound and the bruises even like months later still. And this is why I'm saying healing out means to not just heal on a superficial layer, but to really heal out for good. I hope that makes sense. And I think you've been waiting for this to happen already for a pretty long time, maybe. Okay? Wow, what a reading. I love this. This is awesome. Let's get you one Oracle Angel card. Is there any angel with you on your side, guarding you, protecting you? Let's just see. Part number one. It's all about patience. It's a time to gather information, to learn once again. So this is... Maybe this is the angel's name. I don't know whether there is an angel called Patience. I mean, Patience can be a name, right? But um, first and foremost, I feel like it's about being patient, right? Knowing that true healing 
needs some time, takes some time. It's not happening right away, right? And I feel that in your future, you will grow now into a healed version of yourself, if that makes sense. And I really, truly hope it does. And I feel this is a beautiful message, a beautiful outlook, right? To know that, yeah, I'm moving into the right direction. And this is not just something superficial going on. It's deep. It's real. It's true, right? Thank you so, so much, everyone, for listening, for taking time. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell. And I wish you only the best. Peace out. Namaste. Pile number two. If you have chosen the second pile, the thing is, I was asking for one card, but in your case, two cards came out. Wow. Hmm. The King of Hearts and the Page of, I don't know how to say that in English. <laughs> um, these are the two energies. This is maybe a love pile, right? I, I feel like with the page, uh, with the um, page and the King of Hearts, this is probably a love pile. So let's take the love deck. Let's take the love deck. Yeah, you are waiting for your soulmate. You are waiting and you have not yet found him. Maybe there were like two or three guys where you thought, yeah, it could be the one, but turned out that they wasn't, right? They haven't been the one you've been waiting for. You had to let go of a lot of control issues, maybe other issues. You've been focusing on your job situation a lot, I feel. So let's see, is this changing? Is this coming to an end? Stay optimistic. Yes, it is. It is like, I mean, I don't want to talk about the next 20 years. Like this conjunction between Pluto and Aquarius, as I said, it will last for 20 years. I know like 20 years, like to talk about 20 years is insane, right? Uh, we don't want to think so far in the future, but I feel like you will, at the end of the day, you will end up with your soulmate. Yes, it took a while for sure, but here, here it is, like Ace of Cups, love is coming in, love is coming in. It will probably start right now, right here, at this given moment, like with this conjunction, which happened yesterday, November 19th. Yeah, again, like, yeah, I see someone coming in. They will be a bit younger than you, okay? So don't, um, I don't know whether this is a problem for you. I hope it's not because um, they come in with only the best intentions. So we have the Knight of Cups, right? We, uh, we saw the, the King of Hearts. And then what else did we have? Like they will come in in a friendship way, okay? They will start as a friend. They want to take their time and this is okay. You can take your time. And then we have the Page of Coins, right? This is what I say, slow movement slow movement. It will probably take up to half a year until you will be an official couple. But that's okay. Right? That's okay. So don't rush them. Don't hurry them. Let's take uh, more cards here for this love thing. I think this is the love pile. This is a message about love. So Pluto and Aquarius are bringing in love. Let go of control issues once again. Let go of control issues, okay? This is the um, manipulation card. Don't manipulate people and don't let them manipulate you, right? You will have dates. You will have, uh, yeah, something going on, something flirtatious, something about love is definitely going down here. Uh, going to happen. I, going down means, I think, the opposite. As I said, I'm not a native speaker. Sometimes I probably say things that makes no sense to you. I'm sorry. I see you dating. I see you getting to know someone. And this someone is, I feel, younger than you. Maybe just a year, maybe two years younger. And I see that you have been waiting for this to happen already for quite a while. There was a lot for you to heal out and to take care of, right? Let go of control issues. I think you've been focusing on your job and your career a lot, right? But now something is changing, right? With this new conjunction, something is changing. Yes, you've been a workaholic maybe for many, many years. But now 
it's time for you to become a, another version, right? Yeah, again, you see, choose another direction. Exactly. This is exactly what I said before, right? I said it. Yeah, and here it is. So is there anything else we need to mention for you guys? Pile number two. Any other message that wants to pop up? Let's see, what is that? Help from above. Yeah, spirit is helping you. As I said, life is never happening to you. It is happening for you. You will understand that better and better and better. You are guided. You are guarded. You are protected. You are safe, right? It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to open up. Stay optimistic. I'm not saying this is just around the corner happening within the next three days. This is not what I'm saying. It is probably the opposite, right? But please stay patient and keep up with your faith. Believe that it will happen to you, okay? Thank you so, so much for listening. I love that. Leave a comment, share, like, and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, let's move on to pile number three. Pile number three. Let me put the other cards aside. That takes a while because I was pulling out a lot of cards for pile number two people. So let's move into the third pile. Pile number three. What do we need to know for you? Wow. The page of hearts. This is about love. This is about dating, flirting. So this conjunction, Pluto, dating Aquarius, is bringing in love, right? It's bringing in love. Is there any better message we could have been asking for? I don't think so. It's about being courageous. It's about getting the desired message that you've been waiting and hoping for. It's about a wish coming true, right? Um, the, the, the page of hearts is all about being happy. It's about uh, serendipity. Um, yeah, it's about being satisfied, right? And I really mean it being satisfied you know like leaning back looking at your life and truly being satisfied wow i love that so yeah you are stepping into a, a great era of your life a great new chapter of your life and i feel love is playing a major role here let's get one angel oracle card Eight of thoughts you may feel as though you've restricted by the circumstances but that's just an illusion make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy don't wait for someone to come to rescue you you can free yourself wow I love that this is one of my favorite cards yeah yeah it is this is really because this is my my this is the, what I say all the time, right? Don't wait for anyone. Don't wait. Don't hope. Don't just sit there, lean back, and think. Um, you know, like things will change for no reason, like just like that. It's not gonna happen, right? Wake up, wake up. Welcome to the real world. Ooh, I'm sorry. I know this is maybe triggering some of us. But this is what it is. It's a real reading. It's real life, right? With real consequences. If you don't do anything, nothing will happen. If you do something, if you try to make something happen, it probably, in some cases, will not work out. That's also part of the truth. But in other cases, it will work out. And in some cases, cases it will work out in a better way than you could have ever dreamt of. Right? So don't just sit there and wait for something to happen or for someone to rescue you. Free yourself. Step into the power of Pluto and Aquarius. Own it. Claim it. Be it. You know what I'm saying? I, I explained to you. It's all about Independence Day in a metaphorical way. It's about being rebellious. It's about freeing yourself. It's about fighting for your rights, right? You don't have to follow someone else's agenda, right? Like back in 200 years, 300 years ago, what I said in the beginning with the kings and they sent all the soldiers into the war, you know, and they had to die for nothing, right? Because the king, you know, like had a problem with someone else, right? 
which was actually not the business of the soldiers, right? So this is all about claiming justice for the people, for yourself, but anyone else as well, right? It's about stepping up. It's about empowering yourself. Wow, I love that. This is strong reading here. Yeah, power of prayer, right? Um, pray and at the same time, do everything that you can do to make it happen. Follow your intuition. Do what needs to be done. Okay? Bam. What else? What else going to happen for you guys? Pile number three. Success. Yeah, you are stepping into success. You want to be successful and you will. If you do what it takes, right? Make the effort. Leave the past. Sorry. Leave the past behind. Stop telling yourself a certain story, right? And surround yourself with people who support you, okay? I see people coming in who will support you, who are very generous, excuse me. And I see you following your own path. You will follow your own path. You will not follow, you know, like don't be a follower. Follow yourself, like your own intuition, your heart, right? I'm not saying that you have to be a leader, but don't just be a follower. Follow your path. Follow your intuition. Follow your dream, right? You are ready and you will make it. You will get the help from above and other people um, who are willing to support. Teachers, mentors, f just friends, you know, maybe family. Um, yeah, this is what I say. And the Ten of Wands, last but not least, um, I feel like, as you may or may not know, Ten in Tarot is always about an ending, c closure, completion. Something old is coming to an end, right? I, I, I don't know whether I said it in this pile or in another pile, but it's time to rebirth yourself. It's time to let something old die so something new can be given birth to, if that makes sense. Wow, I love that. That was a nice reading, I feel. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening, for taking time. Thank you so much for following. All, you know, like all kind of support is appreciated. Thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you like this reading. Leave a comment, share it, subscribe to my channel if you want to. And yeah, I see you with the next reading. Bye.